So we had the Freescale European headquarters. What are you showing? Yeah, I would like to show you our new 12-bit digital accelerometers. This is this uh, small uh, device here in, in QFN package 3x3. And we have some very interesting uh, new features with the device. And this is what I would like to, to show you briefly right now with this uh, demo on the screen. So what you can see here is uh, the value from the three axes. And uh, particularly in blue, you have the value for the z-axis. So you can see uh, indeed 1g. 1g is the value of the gravity. Uh, we have one nice feature with this device, which is called transient function. With transient function, you can remove the gravity, and this is very useful in many cases. So I'm going right now uh, to activate uh, the transform function here, and I go back and use data. And here, what is happening? Exactly what I wanted to show. You see that with the filter, it's a high pass filters. You remove from the signal the gravity, and you have zero g uh, on the z-axis. Uh, why is it helpful? Because if you want to do some measurement, you want to locate the device in space, uh, right now you don't have any more the gravity effect on the measurement. Also, if you want to measure very fast uh, movement, uh, once again with this filter you remove the gravity effect and this is more accurate uh, measurement and you don't need any algorithm inside to remove the gravity. One other nice feature I would like to show you right now is some um, FIFO we have inside the accelerometers. This is also very new features. What's happening right now? Let me explain you very briefly. We can detect a tap. A tap is happening and the accelerometers by itself is running in kind of low power mode. Something is happening and is able to generate an interruption. Then you wake up the microcontroller and thanks to the FIFO inside the accelerometers you can read back the data which explain why the accelerometer generates such interruption. So very useful. Uh, you can analyze yourself what's happening and save some current consumption also this way. In addition, the accelerometer is capable, thanks to this data again, to cal calculate exactly the direction of the tape. So here I've got X, Y and eventually Z uh, negative or positive tape, which is information directly calculated by the accelerometers. Same type of features we can have here right now with a shake and still the event detection and it's still possible to detect and, and have the direction of the check automatically with the accelerometers. Nice. So this is the second night features and still with low power function features associated with the accelerometers. Cool.